This is the film freestyle lesson. I'm Mr. T. You've completed an edit, and now it's time to learn how to export a video. The first thing you should do is watch everything in your program monitor. You'd be surprised how often you notice little mistakes or errors or cuts that you want to do just a little bit differently. Make sure you watch it one last time before you're ready to export. And I'm ready to go. My project is ready to export. Once you're sure that your sequence is ready to export, it's time to go to your timeline and mark your ins and your outs. Here in my timeline, and I'm going to press the letter I, and that's going to mark in, create a mark in for my video. Then I'm going to go to where I want my video to finish, and I'm going to hit the letter O, um, and now I have uh, my ins and my outs. I have marked an area. It's always a good idea to leave a few seconds of empty space both before and after your video. These few seconds of black will act as a buffer so that if you need to copy or re-encode your footage again, hopefully it won't clip any of your actual film. And if your film is being shown in a festival or in a collection of videos, those few seconds will act as a buffer between your film and the next. This is a highlighted area, so Premiere knows that it's going to export only what is in this highlighted area, and that is going to be my finished video. So for example, if I had another bit of video over here, uh, Premiere is not going to export this. It's only going to export what is in this highlighted area. So I'm ready to go. I've got my ins and outs marked. I'm going to go up here to File and Export. I'm going to choose Media. And here I can choose my export settings. There are so many different settings and presets that you can choose from when exporting a video, each with their own file type, codec, and bitrate. But most of the video that we create here at Freestyle winds up on the internet. And for internet video, the best format that you can choose is H.264. This provides a good deal of quality for your video while keeping the file size to a minimum. For here at Freestyle, most of everything that we create gets published on YouTube. So a really good setting to use when exporting for YouTube, for example, is to choose the preset for YouTube. Uh, for this video is 1080p, so I'm going to choose the 1080p setting. And then it's going to automatically pick up all of my other settings from there. Uh, and that is pretty good. Now if you want an even higher level of quality than what H.264 can offer, Maybe you shot on a really fancy high-end camera, or maybe you even shot some raw video, and you don't care how large the finished file is going to be. There are a lot of different presets that you can explore and play around with, but I highly suggest that you do some research. Get on the internet and look around and see if you can find out what settings are best for your particular kind of footage. Once you've selected all of your presets and settings, you want to look it over one last time before you hit that export button. You want to check your settings down here. This is my source range. This is telling Premiere what it should be exporting. In this case, my source range is the ins and outs that I created on my timeline. You could export, for example, the entire sequence if you wanted to or just the entire work area or something else entirely. But since I went to the trouble of making the ins and outs, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on the ins and outs so that I know I'm getting exactly what I told Premiere to export. I'm going to click here where it says output name. Know where you're saving your file. And don't forget to give your file a name. Sequence 01 is not a name. And I'm going to change this name and I'm going to choose the name that I want this file to be called. So I'm going to call it my name and whatever title I want the video to have. Uh, and then I'm going to choose the location where I want it to save. I want it to save uh, in my media folder, uh, which is right here. So now I've got it saved where I want it to save. I'm exporting audio and video. Uh, my frame rate and my resolution looks the right size and setting. You're ready. Hit the export button. You've earned it. Uh, and Premiere will think about that for a little bit, depending on how long my video is, and it will export. And that is how you export a video in Premiere.